Hey, what's up guys? Hi, everybody. Self here. Welcome back to the channel. Big day today for Apple, of course, announcing the brand new iPhone 12 lineup, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, alongside new HomePod minis and so much more. Links will be in the description for the entire keynote. You can find out everything there. Just a lot of new hardware. And of course, Apple today also announced new software. iOS 14.2 Developer Beta 3 was just released to registered developers. And I'm going to be comparing it to Beta 2 on this other iPhone 11. Interestingly enough, there's been a few features that were removed on the latest beta and there's a few that have been added on the latest beta as well. So we'll get to some of those details here in just a few seconds. Something interesting did happen today. Apple released iOS 14.1 to everyone worldwide after the iPhone 12 event. And then about 30 minutes later, there wasn't no over the air download available and Apple completely removed 14.1 from their website entirely. Now I do have it installed on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. As you can see here, the official build was released today. There it is, the build number is 18A8395. Now I'm going to be continuing to dig around the software and find additional new features and changes on 14.1, but I don't want to show you the software just yet because I want to do a deeper dive into the software. So you can expect that video here in the next couple of days, maybe 24 to 48 hours. Today we're going to talk about iOS 14.2 developer beta 3 and again beta 3 on the red iphone beta 2 on the green iphone so before we get to that i wanted to share with you guys in the description down below some of the latest wallpapers now available for download i'm going to link those in the description down below these pertain to the new iphone 12 as you can see here all the wallpapers in high definition will be available for you to download in the description down below if you're interested in that. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the latest changes here from beta two to beta three. The first thing to note here is under maps, for some reason, Apple no longer allows you to turn on or turn off show parking location. So here in beta two, you have the show parking location toggle under the map settings, but in beta three, that is no longer available. So you don't have the option to turn that off. Again, if you go to settings here and we head on over to the maps extension, so let's go ahead and find maps here, you see that that option is no longer available for you to turn off. So something interesting there, I'm not sure why Apple will remove the option to turn that off, but now it is something that's on by default. Now moving on to Apple TV, Apple also added a new feature to the extension and settings here as well. We now have the ability to download uh, files uh, that you want to go ahead and watch using an AV adapter. So this allows the Apple TV to download titles uh, specifically formatted for AV adapters, as you see here. And these files may be slightly larger uh, for the uh, AD AV adapter if you wish to use one instead of using the AirPlay option. So yeah, new options there in Apple TV in settings as well. And again, one of the other options that was removed was the ability to turn on or off the auto low light F. PS, so no longer available here in beta 3. Uh, this option here will automatically reduce the frame rate from 30 to 24 frames to improve the low light video. But on this iPhone here running beta 3, that's no longer available as well. So something that I definitely wish Apple would just keep in place, but keep in mind, this is still beta. It could still come back. And last but not least, under accessibility features, we now have under uh, subtitles and captioning, we now have the option to show audio transcriptions from home pods directly within the home screen of your iPhone if you have the accessibility feature or if you use that accessibility feature on your iPhone. Again, guys, iOS 14.2 Developer Beta 3 is now available for registered developers. Of course, you can anticipate my follow-up video on this one as well, but I'm going to continue to dig around 14.1, something so interesting, Apple pulling the software all together after releasing it. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching today's update, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.